It is one of the most eagerly awaited days on the footballing calendar. It's the day when teams turn up for work with a spring in their step. First time in this competition this season, a genuine sense of occasion, a bit of fanfare that goes with it. The mood is upbeat, laced with a dose of nerves, which must be expected. The team news is in, the teams themselves will be with us shortly. The atmosphere predictably wonderful. Entirely unique, this place has something special about it, La Bombonera. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. So a strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. the way Jim, which player is best equipped for this game yeah Gabriel Jesus he's always going to be a massive threat Peter and that's primarily because his movement off the ball is so effective even if he doesn't end up touching the ball he usually plays a part in his team's attacking plays because he's dragged people out of position and that can be an obvious help to those around him he's uh, full of enthusiasm I think the opposition defence hits one! What a wonderful goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Gabriel Jesus versus the keeper, and only one winner. Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Look, that could be a huge goal for them, because we know that registering first always gives you that psychological upper ground. Danilo gets it back, whistle's gone, that's a foul. And that's out of reach. Marquinhos plays it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? He's played him through. Gabriel Jesus. Real chance! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort.
danger averted for now. Messi. And here's Aquero. It's Aquero! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Argentina have found chances hard to come by, so that's perfectly understandable. Lucas Paqueta. Neymar. What an adventurous run from a different... Shot at goal! He has done it! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Brazil have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. He's got away. Header! They are rampant! And already they're looking to run away with it. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. without reply this is becoming a stroll well they're very much the better team at the moment Peter and, and no doubt we'll be looking to to cause even more damage here Gabriel Gabriel Jesus Cunha goes looking. And it's played forward. Thiago Silva cuts it out. Lucas Paqueta. Alexandro. Referee's had a look. And he's blown his whistle for half time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes. But one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Pete. Lucas Paqueta! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Well, maybe he just got a tad excitable when he knows those moments need the coolest of heads. Aguero loses his balance and loses the ball can't get the better of his opposite number Casemiro very firm in standing his ground there it is a tough full contact contest Neymar it's Neymar oh, the keeper's done just about enough I think he still deserves full marks for making his way through it was a it was a crack and run Forward it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Receives it in a good position. And it's Gomez. Gomez! Oh, that is rather wayward. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. This 
some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Alexandro. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time like that. Let's wrestle off the ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Fred set up one goal so far. And it's Gomez. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And it's been taken short. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Messi. And the finish! Keeper's got his work done. Well, the defence are in a good position to get behind the ball and, and let them just try from range. Nicely controlled. Lucas Paqueta, he's tried one! Big relief, it just needed better contact. And it's Aguero. Messi. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Neymar. Going through. Ne it's Neymar! And he should have made it four. And that is that. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. Your reflections then, Jim. Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board, and it's mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a, a good, solid team display for me.